Many people are in a downward spiral. They've been eating shitty food a long time. Uh, going out and accomplishing things doesn't seem real, so they don't see the point. And basically, they're in a cycle of scarcity, going down and down and down. And what it leads to is a, uh, a sort of a fragility in the system of who they are. They're addicted to stimulation or unconsciousness. Gossip or, you know, Twitter, Facebook type of energy, that manic energy. Or things like pizza or alcohol uh, or television that makes you kind of unconscious. So... What you've got to ask yourself is, are you the robust structure or are you the fragile structure? If you look at something like uh, food or meditation or accomplishments, it's an upward spiral because the more clean food you eat, the more willpower you have, which gives you more willpower to eat clean food, and then the more willpower you have. Say with accomplishment, uh, the more willpower that you have, uh, the more positive reference experiences that you get, that it'll actually produce a result, and then the more that you buy in, and then the more that you're willing to go all out to push for a long-term goal. motivational seesaw, right? And I say that basically your brain is fueled by motivation. You actually have to believe something will work. You have to buy in in order to have motivation. So your goal in this is to become the opposite of the fragile system where it's too difficult for you to keep your shit together because you're in a downward spiral and you need to reverse the course of that downward spiral into an upward spiral. Okay, and from there, you can start to look at higher level paradigms. Being passionate or being purpose driven, being intrinsically motivated, uh, things like not caring what people think of you because you're on your path in life. Developing your brain, developing your health, developing your prefrontal cortex, developing your willpower, developing your centeredness, your happiness, your positivity. You want to place yourself under a state of massive action to reverse the course of the ship and eventually get to the point where instead of going down like this, you slowly start to go up like this. And the cool part about it is that eventually after a few years, it just intensifies, it becomes exponential, and you just go more up and up and up. What I would say to you is this. In your life, ask yourself, Am I on the downward spiral or am I on the upward spiral? And if you're in the downward spiral, do whatever it takes. Make small progress because it's always going to be small at first to reverse the course and to move it up. My goal for you is to be positive, laughing, happy, the sign of somebody who's in an upward spiral who is robust, okay? You're enjoying the process. You're actually enjoying the taking action part of what you're doing. Not needing an outcome at all, but you're actually enjoying taking action for the action itself. We are entitled to the action, not the fruits, okay? But you're actually getting present to the moment with the action itself. Get yourself out of your head. Learn the process that lift you up. It can be done, but it does take mental discipline. But you can. You can do it.